walking up the stairs here into the lobby area of the home theater. I have the restroom there, the theater style popcorn popper, some more movie posters, the old projector is just for decoration, got the little wet bar there, part of the DVD collection, and the other part of the DVD collection. Eventually this is to be a decorative uh, ticket booth, but that hasn't been built yet. Inside the control room, we have the back of the equipment and the rat's nest of wiring that needs to be uh, straightened up one of these days. Got a uh, Sonos uh, zone player at the top up there. That's for uh, connecting to a uh, network drive for music. Then we have the Anthem uh, D2 processor at the top, a uh, Pioneer Blu-ray player, a Sony Blu-ray player, satellite uh, box, external DAC for the uh, Sonos, and an Usher R6.0, it's uh, 125 times 6 for powering the uh, two sets of sides and the uh, rear speakers. We also have the breaker box, dedicated breaker box just for the theater. Other side of the closet, we have the uh, whole house audio. We have 11 zones, uh, including the garage and the back patio. Uh, I got three more of the uh, Sonos players over there. Also, a little internet radio on the bottom shelf. Uh, these are subwoofer amplifiers. Seven of the zones uh, have uh, dedicated subwoofers mounted in the ceiling using uh, two 8 inch woofers. A pose mounted to uh, prevent vibrations. Entering the theater, a room that is 19 feet wide and 27 feet deep. It's from the wall that you can't see that's about three feet behind the screen to the back wall over here where the equipment is and a 10 foot ceiling raised floor with 11 Berkline electric recliners got the JVC HD1 projector it's one of the older model uh, 1080p projectors from JVC got the Prismasonic uh, anamorphic lens for doing the constant image height the Anthem D2 processor does the video processing for the vertical stretch and then the lens does the horizontal stretch. It's also adjustable so you can set it for any aspect ratio whether it's uh, 16 to 9 or 1.85 to 1 or 2.35 or 2.4. Over here we have the Anthem processor and also the uh, two Blu-ray players and the satellite dish and down below the Escher R6.0 which powers these rear speakers also powers the side speakers which are built into the the rear and center column front column has a grill cloth but that's just to make the columns the same the side surrounds are using the Dayton reference 7 inch driver, a 2 inch dome mid range, and 1 inch soft dome tweeter. That's just a DIY design that I designed uh, to put into the column for side surround. And again, there's one in the rear column and one in the middle column. Uh, they're just tied together. They each have their own amplifier channel on the Usher R6.0. Front column is just a dummy grill. Behind the curtain, have the uh, main line arrays using uh, 18 of the Dayton reference 6 inch drivers and 42 of the Aura 2 inch drivers and these are shaded meaning that the center drivers are operating full output as you move toward the ends they're attenuated and they're 12 dB down at the ends this gives you better dispersion control uh, this is almost floor to ceiling so it's kind of sort of an infinite line behaves this infinite line through a good part of the frequency spectrum at least so that gives you uh, reasonable control but these speakers will ultimately be replaced with CBTs with very controlled uh, dispersion for uh, constant directivity
the subwoofers or the Dayton reference 15 inch drivers have 14 millimeters peak linear excursion they're in an open baffle three modules each module has uh, four woofers so a total 12 15 inch drivers in each tower Each of the left and right channel uses one of the uh, Behringer uh, 2496 uh, digital crossovers and it's powered by five of the seven channels of a uh, Emotiva UPA7. So that's five channels just for this one line array speaker. Uh, eventually when these speakers are replaced I'll be using all seven channels just for each speaker. The center speaker is a circular arc. It's a 120 degree arc. Uses 20 of the Dayton Reference 6 inch drivers, 50 of the Aura 2 inch drivers, and you can't really see them in the video, but at the very top, 132 Tang Band half inch tweeters. This is also uh, shaded on the ends. Center drivers operate full output. As you move toward the ends, it attenuates incrementally to 12 dB down at the ends. This gives you plus minus 45 degrees coverage independent of frequency. This CBT technology was originally developed for the Navy for mapping the ocean floor. And it also uses a Behringer digital crossover and all seven channels of a UPA7 amplifier. There's also actually uh, two digital crossovers there. One of them is for the uh, woofers. There's a total of four of the Behringer crossovers in here. And of course the uh, the right channel is also using the uh, the digital crossover and the Emotiva UPA7. Currently just using five channels of it. Uh, eventually when the uh, main speakers are replaced with CBTs I'll be using all seven channels of this amplifier just for each speaker. Underneath the subwoofer, you have the Anthem MCA30, one under each uh, subwoofer tower. Uh, each of the three channels powers one module, so that's uh, four woofers for uh, each amplifier channel. Works out to about 65 watts per woofer, which is plenty. That's enough to drive it to its maximum excursion below 20 hertz. So it's more than enough power. A lot of people are hung up on power, don't realize that it doesn't really mean that much. You have to have it. You have to have quite a bit of it actually. But it doesn't work the way most people seem to think it does.